All right, welcome guys. Today's video, we find ourselves over here at Natandaburi. We're right here in front of the most important temple in this um, municipality. Uh, Nat Natandaburi is across the river from Bangkok. It's all really Bangkok, but it's kind of uh, the suburbs. And so it's its own little, uh, its own, it's its own little city. So anyway, I uh, had a viewer request me to come over here and take a look at this temple. I've been uh, meaning to, and uh, I'm uh, really excited to see it. It's the oldest temple in this uh, in Natanaburi. It's about 400 years old. It was built by King Prasat Tong, I believe was his name, from the Ayutthaya Kingdom. Anyway, they uh, they came over here and they were going to build a canal or like fortifications to defend against the Burmese. And so they started building this temple. So it's the oldest one, and it's also the most important temple in this region. The uh, the main ordination hall is in the uh, late Ayutthaya style, and it's going to have some cool murals on the wall. And then there's supposed to be like a thousand year old tree and some other stuff. So uh, anyway, let me uh, let me show you around and let's see what we see. So they have this uh, shrine right here in front of uh, the temple. And they have like a little wooden house over here. And there's supposed to be some stuff around here for uh, where like the soldiers mustered and like uh, getting ready to fight the Burmese. So uh, anyway, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure who this is. It's a nice little wooden shrine though. This is a kind of a cool little building. So they have a huge awning that's got all these Buddha images and what this is this is the place where the ties will come they'll uh, they'll pray to these little statues they uh, can donate for the uh, the poor they can donate to the temple they have the uh, the tiles for the roof that they can buy and then there's uh, some of the rooms that are back there for the monks they can do the uh, ceremonies and stuff right next to it is this old ordination hall and this is the reason why I came over here to see this. So you can see the low wall here that surrounds that ordination hall. And then there's uh, basically like jungle and stuff like that out that away. And some more of the, uh, the temple buildings over there. But this is the one that's roughly about 400 years old. So uh, how cool is that? And you can look right in there and you can see the Buddha. And then uh, they have the marker stones right there, the Buasima. And then they have a couple little chetties that are right up here by the, uh, the front gate. But this, this temple is really well maintained. You know, it's 400 years old, but it's kind of like the, uh, the highlight of this little city over here. So here's one of the chetties. It's one of those that's uh, on a rectangle and it has uh, 12 sides. Very nice. So here is the Buasimas. And there'll be eight of them outside, and then there will be uh, one buried underneath the, uh, the main Buddha. So uh, inside here, you can see the entranceway. All the uh, decorations that are above the doors. Very, very intricate. And you can see here where uh, like the uh, plaster has come off. It's kind of uh, weathering away, but it is 400 years old. And then these are colossal doors here. They are massive. So that is very nice. So the principal Buddha, and then all the, uh, like the disciples around it. And this, uh, this style, it's like, uh, I can't remember what they called it, but like the Maha Tep or something like that. Anyway, there's no windows on this, uh, on this wall. And you can see the old uh, fading mural. The only way in is the doors and it has a little tiny window up above the main Buddha. And then you can see some more of the murals. And I'll put in the description, like the age of them and stuff like that. But this will be the scenes of, uh, of the life around here. And then it'll be the scenes of the Buddha up above. But you can see that they're just really, really faded. You can see some of the, uh, 
some of the buildings, some of the people. You can see here, here's, here's some people right here. Looks like a woman that's uh, topless. They're doing something there. <laughs> And it's just painted right on the temple walls, just like you can see. So how cool is this? This is really nice. And then this is the place where people can come and uh, they can pray right here. You can see the donations of water, stuff like that for the temple. And then the monks in here. And you can get your blessing. But it's just... Uh, Brick, it's a brick building with the plaster on the outside. And then you can see the roof up there and the beams. Yeah, this is a pretty good look at the front of the building. All the detail work above the doors. All the work in the, uh, in the wood. And then you see these columns and how they're decorated. So all those Ayutthaya palaces or temples that you would see would, look, would have looked just like this back in the day. The columns would have had like these up at the top of them. Some of them would have had like a, like a low, like a sloping porch, while this one has like a high roof. Yeah, very nice. And then look at the side. And you can see how it's built just like a ship, which was the style there. And then the eaves. It's showing, the, the wood is showing a little bit of signs of weather now. So it's gonna be needing to get remodeled. And this has been remodeled a few times over its life. I mean, it's 400 years old and it's in the tropics, so it has to be remodeled. So here's the back of the temple. Now I expected to see a Buddha statue back here, but they don't have one. See the, the back of it and then some more of these uh, little marker stones. You can see the, how faded they are. I mean, they're just really, really weathered. Very nice. Oh, and there is like a I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is a little bit of decoration in the wood shutter right there. And there is actually a window right behind the principal Buddha that you can't see from the front. And right behind the ordination hall, here's the crematorium. And then another one of the little temple buildings with some of the monk quarters and all of that back here. Let's look what over is here. It looks like a little, like a canal of some kind. I have a place to come over here and sit and rest. And then they're building a new hall back over there. And you can see right here, here's the, uh, like the monk quarters. They got their laundry hanging up there. And they do their business down below. This actually reminds me when I first came to Thailand, I uh, went and it was uh, teaching some English to some monks. And we would uh, have the class right down below the building right there. And there's this little walkway. There's a monk going somewhere. And you can see the little canal. So you can see the temple building that they're adding on. Looks like that monk is just going to go out here and do something over there. Anyway, this, uh, this just runs out of the temple, so it just keeps on going out into the countryside. This is a really, really nice Thai-style building. Let's go in here and take a look at it. Looks like over here, they have a, a statue that they're remodeling. The guy's over there painting it. Okay, so this is the, uh, the ladder. I read about this, but I, uh, I can't remember exactly what I read. I'll try to put it in the description also. You can see the, uh, the wood blinds. You see how it's carved. Wow, this is really, really nice. They built a special little building for it. It looks like a cupboard is here. 
But yeah, this is a beautiful little building. You see the wood, that teak wood that they used. Okay, so let's keep looking around. Look at these doors before we go. Yeah, really nice. So you can see he's out here just hand painting that whole statue. That's a lot of work. It'll be nice when he's done though. So we got some more of these little houses here. They're remodeling this. The workers told me to come over here and take a look inside. have a cabinet here with some books some little Buddha statues yeah how nice is this it's got a second story so let's go up to the top here it's got the low low roof so you got to watch your head oh, very nice I love these old buildings like this so they've uh, remodeled most of it. They're still working on part of it over here. You can see the woodwork all across the top. You can see where they've varnished the floor and they haven't varnished this over here yet. And then the monk over there in the monk quarters. And you can see they got the scaffolding built here. So they are in the process of redoing all of this redoing the roof they just have that pro panel up or that uh, that tin corrugated tin and this room here looks like they haven't remodeled yet but it'll be like the bedroom it looks like close that door back up okay so let's look at this one other building here oh very nice so they have uh all these Buddhas sitting in here. So they've made this into a shrine. You can see they've just recently painted all of it. And they're still in the process of doing a little bit more to this building. And then we have uh, like a old man monk. That was him when he was alive. Now it's a wax figure. Yeah, how cool, this is a nice little building. Let's look out of the window here. So that's the other building. And then that first building we looked at. And then the statue that they're redoing. And this is right next to a school. They have the Wat Prasat School. That is right here. Behind that first ordination hall. So they have this shrine over here also. And I think this is the 1,000 year old tree. They have it wrapped up and then they have a sign over there in Thai that uh, says 1,000 in Thai numbers. But you can see it's kind of decomposing. But the Thais believe that these old trees have like a spirit in them. That's why you'll see them wrap the trees with, these cl with the cloth. And they'll also, like, when they drive by in their car, they'll honk at each of these trees that they think has, like, a spirit in it. Yeah, I thought it was still alive, but it looks like it's, uh, it's dead. And I really don't know why they do it, but they always, like, some of these places, they'll have a shrine, and they'll have, like, these traditional tie dresses. You can see here they have all the cabinets and stuff. And then they have, uh, like, a statue with a woman wearing it. And then right over here, see this says uh, says 1,000 right there in Thai, and the rest of it's all in Thai. This temple has a pretty nice relaxed feel. It's kind of cool. They got this water. They got like a little moat. They got like the wooden boat and stuff. And then they have this building right here. This is the actual the uh, the abbot's quarters, the head monk. And then they have a little bit more over here, some more of the temple buildings. You got some uh, some of the monks that are relaxing here in the evening and then back over to uh, all the modern stuff. I think this is what that building will look like that they're building back here. So when they're done it will uh, it will look pretty cool. 
All right, I know a visit to a temple is complete without a temple cat. She came wandering over here, attacked my foot, and then just plopped right down wanting a little love. Uh-huh. All right, guys, so that finishes up our little tour here at Wat Prasat. This is really nice. It's a 400-year-old temple, and it used to be uh, like a military camp back in the day where they built the, uh, like the fortifications to help defend against the, uh, the Burmese. There's the old style uh, Thai houses that are way back there, and uh, they remodeled those. But the highlight is definitely the, uh, the ordination hall that's right behind me. And it's in the Maha Ud style, which is the single doors only without any other uh, of the windows. And the, the, the murals were painted uh, by the Na, Na, uh, Natanaburi Art School, if I could talk. Uh, anyway, the, uh, it's really nice. I really enjoy that building. That was probably the highlight of this whole uh, temple over here. So anyway, if you if you like stuff like this, uh, you know, click like on it and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I do uh, stuff like this all the time. This is what I like to do. I like to go around and you see what I see. So if it's an old temple, I'll show you an old temple. If it's a market, I'll show you a market, whatever. If you like that kind of content, subscribe to my channel. That really helps me grow and helps me to where I can make uh, more content. And uh, if you want to know something more, leave me a comment down below. And uh, if you want me to go do something, tell me also, and I'll do my best. Like I said before, I came over here to this uh, temple because one of my viewers recommended it to me. And so I made a point to come over here and see it today. So uh, let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, guys, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.